Hello people, today we are going to learn about statement of cash flow in direct method. Uh, the basic concept is uh, the statement of cash flow reports the entity's cash flow, cash received, cash payment during the period. The purpose of statement of cash flow is to predict future cash flows, evaluate management decision, determine the ability to pay dividends to stockholders and payments to creditors, shows the relationship of net income to the business's cash flow. What is cash? Cash on hand, cash in the bank, cash equivalent, highly liquid short term investment that can be converted into cash with little delay, money market investment, US government treasury bills. There are three kinds of uh, cash flow activities, operating, investing and in, uh, financing activities. Operating activities create revenue, expenses, gains and losses. Investing activities increase and decrease long term assets. Financing activities obtain cash from investors and creditors. Two formats of operating activities are indirect method and direct method. Financing and in, uh, investing activities have no effect on the uh, method used. So, I have already spoken to you about the direct method in my past tutorial. So, if you want to learn more about the direct method uh, in detail, then you can go back to my channel and uh, try to find a video which says cash flows direct method. So, in short, the, these that is this is the difference between the two formats for operating activities. Uh, in, in direct method, it always starts with net income and then we deduct the non-cash uh, non -cash operating activities, example depreciation, which is a non-cash transaction and then we calculate the net income provided by operating activities. In case of direct method, we find out all the op operating activities and list one by one and then add or subtract together to get the net income by provided by operating activities. So here we can see the operating activities in direct method, what to add and what to subtract. The golden rule to remember is always start with the net income and then add the increase, add the decreases in the um, asset and in, uh, deduct the deduct the decreases in the deduct the increases in the uh, uh, current asset. That means whenever there is an asset, follow the rule increase decrease or decrease increase, which means Whenever the asset is decreased, the cash is increased. Whenever the asset is increased, the cash is decreased. And in case of um, uh, liability, follow the rule increase, increase, decrease, decrease. That means whenever the current liability is increased, the cash is increased. Whenever the and current liability is decreased, the um, cash is decreased. So here, let's see an example. We have a net income. Uh, and then we have to adjust the activities like depreciation expense. Expense is what? The one which decreases the net income. So what we have to do? We have to follow the rule. The, uh, whenever the asset, whenever, uh, asset decreases, we, and then we have to increase the cash flow. So we should add the depreciation uh, expense. Then add the loss on the sale of long term asset. This is investing activities and then deduct the gain on the sale of long term asset then deduct the increase in the current asset other than cash then add the decrease in uh, decrease in current as asset other than cash then add the increase in current liability here it is current liability so increase increase so since the current liability is increasing you have to increase the net, um, add it to net, net income here the decrease in current liability so we have to deduct it so that means decrease decrease and then we'll get the net net cash provided by the operating activities we'll see examples so that we can understand more so here we have to, uh, depreciation here is not ca non cash transaction so we should be uh, we should add this to the net income this is the sales minus cost of goods sold to get the profit and gross profit minus depreciation will give you net income. Here for depreciation is a non-cash transaction. So for calculating the uh, of our, uh, net income for the operating activities we should add this back. Gain or loss from long term asset. Changes to the long term asset can be what? Purchase or sale. Effect on the cash. 
what would be the uh, general entry we have to think about this they appear in the investing section because long term asset are investing activities but when sold are reported as on the income statement whenever long term assets are sold if they are reported on the income statement thus we need to reverse their effect that is add back the loss and subtract out the gain because it is uh, an asset so what uh, rule we have to follow for asset increase decrease decrease increase so whenever there is a loss we have to add it whenever there is a gain we have to subtract it sales is uh, less uh, here entry for the sale of, of equipment could be uh, cash received is 4500 and depreciation is 1500 loss on the sale is 575 and equipment is 6575 here depreciation and loss on, on sale loss on sale should be added and depreciation expense should be added uh, in case of the act, uh, um, uh, operating activities because these are non cash transactions uh, changes in the current asset and current liability amount here what i have already told you the rule to remember let's see an example to understand the rule increase in another current asset decreases the cash purchase of in inventory for the cash so increase in another asset means we have we have purchased something in by giving out the cash so purchase of inventory for cash in decreases the cash and increases in another uh, current asset decrease in another current asset increases cash like collection of account receivable so uh, in case of current uh, account receivable uh we do uh, this in decreases in another current asset this is a uh, different current asset than the cash decreases in the current liability decreases cash payment of accounts payable whenever we pay uh, towards our accounts payable it decreases our cash increases in the current liability increases cash so uh, in case of non cash increases in the current liability increases cash non cash expense that such as accrued expense this is the example increases in current asset decreases cash so let's see the general entry cash received is 7500 and sales uh, credited is 75 7500 this is sales revenue now here the account receivable is 2500 and sales is uh, credited as 2500 since out of these uh, account receivable is 2500 out of total sales total sales of 10000 and account receivable is 2500 so 2500 account receivable is not cash so what we have learned any increases in cash in current any increases in current asset either uses cash or is increased by non cash transaction so in case of non cash transaction which is account receivable And we have to uh, any increase in cash should decrease the and any uh, increase in the current asset should decrease the cash in from the net income. So we have to add this non cash. Uh, 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 since the account receivable is increased by two thousand five hundred, so we have to decrease this from the net income. decreases in current increases the cash if accounts receivable decreases that means we collected cash that cash needs to be added back to the net income if inventory supplies or other current asset decreases that means we debited an expense but did not credit cash so we add those decreases to the net income decreases in current liability decreases cash because decrease decrease in case of asset it was increase decrease and in case of liability is decrease decrease how is accounts payable decreased debit debit accounts payable by $1000 or credit cash by $1000 same for all other payables so in uh, let's say net next thing which is increase in current liability increases cash So here the general entry says that salary expense is 875 and cash cash paid towards salary expense is 875 then salary expense of 125 dollars uh, out of which salary payable is 125 uh, 
So 125 here is salary payable, which is when payable increases, increase the cash. So whenever payable increases, we have to add this back to the uh, net income to get the operating cash flow. So when payables increases, they create an expense, but the expense is non-cash expense. So add back to the net income. Uh, so here the positive terms to that means to add to the net income is net income, depreciation, amortization, loss on the sale of long term asset, decreases in the current asset other than cash and increases in the current liability. So all these things are positive terms while calculating the cash flow operating activities we have to add these. Negative terms that means we have to deduct from the net income while calculating cash flow from operating activities. These are net losses, gain on sale of long term asset, increases in the current asset other than cash, decreases in the current liabilities. In case of investing activities, the positive terms are sale of plant assets, sale of investment that are not cash, uh, equivalent collection of loan receivable. Negative terms, that means what we have to deduct for calculating cash flow for investing activities will be acquisition of plant asset, purchase of per, uh, investment that are not cash equivalent, making loans to others. For financing activity, positive items are issuing stock, selling treasury stock, borrowing money. In All these should be added uh, in case of calculating cash flow for financing activities. What should be deducted? Deduct uh, payment of dividends, purchase of treasury stock, payments of principal amount of debts. Uh, this is an example here for uh, uh, this uh, balance sheet, comparative balance sheet for two years are given. Here we need to calculate about the decreases and increases in a cash account receivable. For every entry we can calculate increase or decrease here by deducting one from the other. This is again comparative balance sheet where liability and uh, stockholder equity. Same thing we have to calculate for increase and decrease. Uh, this is the income statement. Here what, what is the non-cash transaction which, can, which should be added or mm, deducted from the operating activities is gain on sale of plant asset. This is gain. So what we have learned for the asset Decre increase, decrease or decrease, increase. That is its opposite. So since it is a gain, we have to deduct it from the uh, uh, operating activities cash flow. Here depreciation expense. This we have to add it to the uh, uh, net income uh, for the operating activities because it is a depreciation expense. So total revenue gain is this one, total expenses is this one. So we deduct from this one to get the $41 of net income. So it made a statement of cash flow for operating activities for the indirect method is uh, net income is $41 as calculated before by revenue and expenses. Then what we need to add, we need to add the uh, depreciation of $18 because depreciation expense which is a um, which was uh, it was an expense which was deducted from the in net income so we should add it back because it was a non-cash transaction and gain on sale of a plant it is also a non-cash transaction so there are gain so we should deduct it from the net income depreciation does not affect cash but it decreases net income add back in about sales on long term are investing activities so remove gains from the net income so why we are removing it because this is long term asset and are from the investing activity. So remove from the net income uh, for the operating activity. So here uh, uh, from the balance sheet given we have calculated the increases and decreases in each of the account receivable interest, receivable inventory, period, uh, prepaid expenses, all the Asset and payables are uh, payables and liabilities are calculated for, uh, the, from the comparative balance sheet, and then net cash provided by the operating activities comes this one. This this is pretty simple. You can do it by going back to the example. 
so the rule is an increase in current asset other than cash indicates decrease in cash increase decrease in case of current asset is it follows rule increase decrease or decrease increase in case of current liability is decrease decrease or increase increase so a decrease in current asset other than cash indicates increase in the cash a decrease in current liability indicates decrease in cash an increase in current liability indicates increase in cash this is the statement of cash flow for year end 2002 for the example given uh, acquisition of plant asset um, has a negative cash flow of 6, 306 loan to another company is negative 11 then uh, proceeds from sale of plant asset is 62 so net cash for investing activity is 255 in detail we have talked about the investing activities and financing activities which is same for direct and indirect method in my past tutorial you can go back to my channel and find that video to understand more this is again for the financing activities which is same for the um, both direct and indirect method we just add find out all the activities add the gains and losses to get the increase and decrease of that particular activity uh, to get the net cash provided by the financing or investing activities so uh, this is again uh, calculating the cash balance by adding all the activities all kinds of activities to get net, net cash provided by operating activities net cash provided by investing activity net cash provided by financing activity so net increase or decrease in cash is this one which is a decrease then we find out what is the cash balance on the end of last year then uh, then for calculating cash for the end of this year we just did deduct from the last year to this year and then we will get the cash balance for this year so this is all we have for today uh so um, thank you for watching and come back to my channel or subscribe to my channel for more videos on accounting and other things thank you for watching